and now we process the coordinates for the ICM CFD and you can find out the coordinates of the S809 arrow file on the NREL website or also from the arrowfiletools.com let's say I copy these points from this website and they are given in the X by C and the Y by C this means they are they are based on the coordinate is equal to 1 and uh, if the call length of your wind turbine or your application is let's say some value let's say it's a 5 then you have to multiply x by c by the 5 as well as the y by c in this case this will be the 5 and this will be the 0 and then 0 0.996203 into 5 and 0 0.000487 into 5 so you have to multiply all the values by the 5 to get the coordinates for your particular arrow file with the particular value of the call length and uh, after copying these points right click and copy and I place them in an excel sheet and the first thing you will observe that the, these points are in the single column so I have to make them into the two columns so from data menu I will click on text to columns click on next and enable these options which can work to separate them and I guess here we have the space which is working to separate these into two, uh, into two columns click on next and then finish the next thing you will observe that these points are arranged in uh, 1 0 and up again up to the 1 0 so I have to put them from leading edge to trailing edge I will copy these points up to the some value but before that we must decide that these values should be we should have the half coordinates in the upper surface and the half in the lower surface even at least for the ICM CAD file so I put the numbers here 1 plus the last value and then drag all values up to the last row of the data and now you can see here that we have the 66 coordinates here and half of this value will be 33 so we will copy these coordinates from here cut them here and place them here and now I will sort them from 0 to 1 so lowest to the highest value click on sort in the data menu and sort by the column G values smallest to largest click on OK and then copy them again cut them to their original location only change is here is that we, we have data from 0 to 1 and again approximately 0 to the 1 and also put the 0 and the Z coordinate although for arrow file we don't need the Z coordinate but this is a requirement of the ICM CFD file format and drag this column to get the value of 0 in the all the rows and here put the 33 this shows that we have 33 coordinates on a one profile on the upper side and also on the lower side and two shows that we have the two profiles upper surface and lower surface as you can see from here this is the upper surface and this is the lower surface here x is equal to 0 and here x is equal to 1 and on the upper side we have the positive y coordinates on the lower side we have the negative y coordinates and now copy all these points including z coordinate of the 0 with the 0 value and place them in the notepad plus plus file and which you can download from the website free of cost the benefit of the notepad plus plus is that it is uh, more efficient than the simple notepad it's also free to download and use and also you will see that when you open the some particular file for example the c file here this will show you the in the particular format of that particular programming language including the all the commands the color coding etc everything is displayed like you are working in the C language so that's why I recommend this uh, software for you and save the file in the working folder which is uh, our CFD courses so workshop 3 and the file name I put is the uh, S 809 you can go with the txt file or you can put the dot dat file both will work fine with icm cfd and save
and here you can see the file is saved here as s09.txt you can open again with the uh, notepad++ this is the file we have here and here i have opened the icm cfd and uh, from file menu i will go to the import geometry and click on the formatted point data which is the format used to import the arrow file coordinates and then look for the file which we have in the icm cfd has a meshing course in the workshop number 3 s809.txt file click on open and click on apply before that it will ask you about the do you want to import points yes import curves it will create the curves automatically and do you want to import surfaces for exam meshing we don't need it so you can uncheck this option and click on the apply and from geometry you can display the points these are all points we have for this arrow file so we have successfully imported the file for the s809 arrow file and this procedure generic you can apply on the any arrow file